Hart Park today uh, in Tosa. People were just out in droves walking their dogs on scooters, on bikes, just whatever they could do, they were out. We missed the record by one. It had already been tied before. It was 2015 and 1933 that we were 71 degrees. By the way, we woke up to 28. That is a huge warm up with that strong southwest wind. And everybody else pretty much in the 60s, except for Racine, Kenosha, Janesville, Lake Geneva, those places all hit 70 degrees today. Our normal high is 44. Just 36 degrees above normal. Uh, Waukesha at this hour, temperatures still in the mid 50s. There's really no wind chill. Uh, south wind is between 5 and 10. It's 50 in Port. It's 47 in Sheboygan, 42 in Watertown, and 51 in Burlington. A very comfortable night as we continue to be in the warm sector of this storm system. There is a cold front coming through. Now you, you think cold front, you think temperatures just dropping like a rock. That's not tomorrow. Tomorrow will drop about 15 degrees from today. We'll be in the mid 50s. That's still 10 degrees above normal. It's going to be cloudy. And we're going to have these on and off again, light rain showers. So nothing that's going to wash out your St. Patty's Day events. But yes, it's not going to be as nice as uh, today was. This is what we're watching for for Friday afternoon, Friday night into early Saturday morning. That looks to be a much more potent storm that could bring snow and sleet. It will bring rain for sure, but temperatures are going to be cold enough. And if you drop just a few more degrees, it could be significant snow. We'll keep watching it. 70 in Chicago. 55 in Minneapolis, and that is our weather for tomorrow. Behind that front we will be in the mid 50s. So your weather headlines, light rain late tomorrow, dreary and messy on Friday. Could wake up to some shovelable snow on Saturday morning and Sunday looking nice. Tonight we stay in the 40s. It's actually warmer than our normal high temperature. And then tomorrow afternoon, as I mentioned, still mild, 55, but it's going to be cloudy. And then there'll be some spotty light rain showers throughout the day. You can see that on the future forecast. Some of those showers moving in later in the afternoon and evening. And then here comes the wintry mess. Notice most of it starts off as rain. And then our northern counties see a little bit more sleet and snow Friday evening and Friday night. And so those areas could see more snow. Most of us will see two to four. Deep breath. Most deep breath. Most of us see two to four inches of snow. But there could be up around the Fox River Valley six to nine inches of snow. <laughs> when when Shamrez gasps, you know it's bad. 39 on Friday with gusty winds, 42 on Saturday, Sunday much nicer, 55. And then next week does not look nice with rain and wintry mix a couple of different times. Here's your weather kid. This is seven year old Genesee. Hey, no hat. I don't think any gloves, just a light coat. I've worked with you for 11 years, Goddard, so I can pretty much handle anything at this point. <laughs> My goodness, nine inches of snow after well, St. Patrick's Day. Just a couple just, of spots, not yeah, everybody. Just a couple of spots. <laughs> just a couple of spots.